in, in the modern media climate, with so many people responding on so many platforms to something you've written, so many of them responding anonymously, so many of them responding in a way that, that shows extreme passions. I mean, politically extreme, you're here or you're here. Somebody said something you don't like, you go for them. And of course, there's the fact that I am a woman. And uh, women who come forward and say something that perhaps people don't agree with can, can almost be too exciting <laughs> to some folks. So the, it, 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 the, I'm not sure there's more criticism than there was 60 years ago of any woman columnist who came forward uh, and, and gave you her real opinions. I'm not sure there's more criticism or more response, but more people have more outlets to, especially anonymously, let their ids out there. And so you can, I can actually go on a television show, do my best, say things I believe are true, perhaps say them under the lights inelegantly or awkwardly or incompletely, and go home, fire up social media, and find out exactly what an idiot I am within seconds of my having been on the air. The one thing I always tell young journalism students is the columnists of the past, Scotty Reston and Walter Lippmann and Dorothy Thompson, when somebody disagreed with what they said in their columns, they would write letters thoughtful letters. Then they'd fold it up, put it in an envelope, get the right address, put a stamp on it, and walk down the street and mail it. Now it's just, you're an idiot. Boom, hit send. So, so that's interesting for all of us. Um, and, and you know what? I, I never complain about it. I wrote about it once because I just wanted people to know this is an odd thing that's happening here with modern media. Uh, but I don't complain about it because I think I read once some very smart woman whose name I cannot remember, who was a writer, not a columnist, but a book writer, uh, somewhat controversial. She said, the whole story of American life is where you stand and what price you will pay to stand there. And I thought, okay, that totally sums it up. And if coming forward each week with your views um, uh, carries a price, too bad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You gotta pay the price. If you take joy in your work, if you love it, if you feel, oh, I'm so lucky I can be part of this thing, I can give you my views. It's in a newspaper that millions of people read and on a website that millions read. So you're lucky, there are drawbacks, shut up, <laughs> I think essentially.